We just go all in. Oh, we got contact! Whoa, buddy! Ryan, sir, one of the most insane runs we've ever seen. This is it. This is the defining moment of the season. We've been fighting nail and tooth all year long. If we want to win and clinch this championship, the time is now. The season has been very much a roller coaster ride with some serious highs and some serious lows. James Dean gets the win. We lost it. It's more like we're getting the band together for the last two gigs. It's about getting back to my highest level of performing. Sometimes I fall in a trap of taking things for granted and not really focusing as hard as I should. And I've been in this rabbit hole before. I've come out of this rabbit hole before. Last time was last year at this exact point. <laughs> Now it's about replicating that and bringing in out our A game here in Salt Lake and then in Los Angeles. Salt Lake is just a beautiful scene. The track is awesome. The people are really nice. I think the fans are enthusiastic because they showed up really early this morning just to be on the grassy knoll and it shows that, that what kind of enthusiasm they have for drifting. Oh man, look at that backdrop. There is not a cloud in the sky, but we're gonna make some of our own. That's right, we are here at Utah Motorsports Campus, just outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. The next two races are arguably the most important of the year. What we really need is a win. Now we're going into Salt Lake, and it's a track that I really, really like. It's all about bringing our A game and win. I still just go in every round, just kind of that clear head and, and just ready to attack it and do the best we can, you know? Motorsport is full on dedication. You have to put it all in, and especially with a talented field like we have these days. We're kicking things up. This is round seven of the Formula Drift Pro Championship. This is top 32. Ryan Literal, Ryan Turk. Here we go. So Ryan Literal will lead. Ryan Turk chasing him down. My lead laps, I've been really on point. I've been really confident in the lead. It's just been the chase where I've had some mistakes and they've really been costing us wins. Ryan Turk following behind, not a ton of proximity, but definitely close. And I love this little addition of angle here, right at the end of two. I mean, it's feeling solid right now. Just need to drive normal and build off of that. <laughs> I mean, track's good. It's uh, really hard to chase. There's a lot of blind spots, but for a lead lap, like the track's really fun to drive. Really challenging. Zones are challenging. Big, big initiation there from turn. Hits inside clip one really well. Outside zone one crushes that. This car is so fast. We got on a slow burn of like dialing up when I should have already been at that point, but that's just kind of the way it went with the feeling and the connection to the car that I had that day. Ryan Sir gets the win. We moved on. That's obviously the, the number one priority in top 32 is uh, try to get into the main show in top 16, get those points. And we didn't win it by unanimous decision. It was pretty freaking close. So I just tried to lay down two clean laps. I was super nervous. That's my only goal. Just lay down two clean laps and just try to put us into the next round. So that's what happened. The car feels great. And uh, we'll find out who we're going to be up against here in a little bit. What are you making, Mario? PB and J. Racetrack food. Mario's the jester of the team. He keeps our spirits high, and sometimes it goes goes a little too far. But you know, it's all part of uh, it's all part of the experience. That is that is Mario. 
Frederick Osbo, our three-time defending back-to-back -back champion against 21-22, and previous to that, could he be our first ever four-time champion? He's going to dance Kyle Menace Mohan. Salt Lake City. It's new world for me, only my second time here. I tend to do well when we go to new places, and that happened last year. We were able to really come out strong, and I'm hoping that we continue a streak this year. Frederick Osmo doing what Frederick Osmo does, which is lay down a perfect lead run. Mohan is a really good chase shot up until that final outside zone. Car feels good. Hoping I can uh, get in the groove more and uh, free the car up a little bit. 99 miles per hour for Mohan. The track's so grippy out here. It's sort of a battle of, of trying to find the right grip level, as always, but here we find ourselves running way higher tire pressures. We're taking out a lot of grip in the car. My confidence is building. We were struggling in practice yesterday, but, but today has been awesome. Osbo cannot be shaken. But Frederick Osbo playing the perfect game, not super aggressive, but staying in the fight the entire time. Yeah, I think we got this. He was leaving the zone. You had a better lead run, and then you also had a better chase run. And Osbo will get the win. Killer runs, and I hope you win. And I'm gonna get you next time. <laughs> Good job, though. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No easy matchup in this sport, you know? They're all rippers, and uh, I'm just happy to finally start to find some sort of groove. But now we're starting to feel it, so I'm, I'm hoping I can build on this from here on. This is our, this is our life. This is not vacation. You know, we're here to compete and we, we have a great crew and we have a great time doing this, but we're definitely working for it. And we're putting our blood, sweat and tears into this. We don't have a big advantage, so do the chase that you want to do, but give us the spaces and the places you know on the entry. We're going back to the start, right? Yeah, go back to the start. And now the pressure mounts. Coming off of two championships, you'd think I would be super confident, right? But instead of being able to focus on what's ahead of me, it sort of led to a little bit of a downward spiral. Trap reader coming out swinging, but he knows Frederick Osmo's in his rearview mirror, another three-time champion. There's only three, and they're all here in the building. Osmo's trying to mimic here. He's on a little bit of a tighter line, but he's getting that proximity. Frederick Osmo, a little bit of wavering there. That is not, as you say, Osmo S needs to refine that if he wants to get the win here today. And that third outside zone, there's Osbo, but Travis Reeder goes into the gravel, kicks up the gravel, and that allows Osbo to get to the side. Had a little bit of a, an issue where we were trying more nitrous, and it just about almost blew up the engine. So we went back to the old setup, and uh, now we're starting to feel it. So I'm, I'm hoping I can build on this from here on. Here we go, back to the action. Frederick Osbo out front, Travis Reeder in the chase position. Here goes Frederick Osbo, big wow, swing big across one. the nose of Travis Reeder. Reeder is not wanting to give in at all here, though. He's attacking in the pocket, keeping that proximity on, trying to take the fight to Frederick Osbo. And now I'm, I'm tense and I'm, I'm driven and I'm hungry to do well. Is he the GOAT? Is he gonna get a fourth championship? But I'm also anxious and concerned about not performing. Will he be the first ever four-time champion? Travis Reeder has some shimmy in that chase position, but Frederick Osbo, I mean, it was like he was on rails. Good job, Freddie. That's pretty dynamic. Not the closest chase, but, you know, he's in there. Frederick Osbo gets the win. What I need to do sometimes is step outside of myself and look at what we have done. We're sitting second in points. We can do this. Right. Good well, driving, dude. Hey, good stuff. Congrats. Good job, boys. Last. It's a sweet road course, and that's what we want. That's what I want. We need to mix it up. We've had a lot of bank tracks for a long time, and they serve their their place in, in the places that we go to. But the road courses are, to me, like what drifting is more about. And here we go. Castro out front as the higher qualified. We'll see what kind of initiation we see from Jonathan Castro. 
straight line approach. And then into that second outside zone, there goes Castro. A little bit of shimming there by both the drivers. Let's see who's going to lock and load into this last outside zone. Great transition there by Castro. You saw that rate to angle. Whoa, buddy. Almost getting some rubber on rubber contact. All right, bud. How'd it feel at the tire pressure we spent it at? That tire pressure is aggressive, but good. Aggressive, but good. Good in the car. Couple little mistakes. Could have been better in outer two. That was kind of my biggest mistake, I feel like. Let's reverse the order as Ryan Turk will now lead and Castro will give chase. Here we go, coming down the pipe. Ryan Turk, a little Manji entry. Castro gets right to him on initiation. He is right there to the overshooters. Ryan Turk come up a bit short. Competition and driving level has elevated this year. Zone two, here goes Ryan Turk. Big angle from him. Looks like now he fills all that outside zone. Castro's chase is unstoppable. A lot of drivers came up and, and stepped up to the plate. Going super aggressive on initiation. And you can see right there, there's a little bit of a bump. I think in some sense, Castro was coming in very aggressive, but you know, the judges may see it differently and that may have an impact on the overall run. I kind of did the same mistake um, with Freddie just did. Uh, I mean, the only difference is I tapped him, Freddie did not. Castro actually bumped me, so uh, I definitely felt him right there breathing down my neck. And there we go, Ryan Sir gets the win. All right, we got the win. Yes. We're moving forward, boys. I'll see you next round. <laughs> Welcome back to Utah Motorsports Campus. We are one battle deep in the great eight. Who is Matt Field going to be going against? Is it Frederick, the Norwegian hammer Osbo, or Ryan Turk? It's only like maybe once or twice a year, you know? It's, he's probably got it up on me, for sure, over the years anyways. That's why we need to even it up. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's have some fun, yeah. man. Let's do it. Ryan and I have been battling many times, and, you know, we've always gone back and forth. He's a fantastic driver, you know, such a naturally gifted menace, really, on track. It's one of the hardest guys for me to battle. Frederick Osbo, notably three-time champion. Ryan Turk still fighting for the champion. Just one of those drivers that has the talent. Car feels solid. We're all in. Hopefully it's enough. He's growing into his role even more and more. His confidence is growing in the car. Well, I've sort of struggled a little bit. Sometimes it feels like the confidence or lack of gets the better end of me. I timed his runs earlier for about half a second quicker through the course than both Reader and I. Okay, so we don't have control over that. What we do have control over is chasing closely and getting on our lead front line, right? So let's work on that. Yeah. They, they, they might be homies right now, but they might be fighting later. Big initiation there from Frederick Osbo. Massive angle from that Toyota GR Supra in that first outside zone. Now transitioning into the second. The big wide sweeper. Ryan Turk almost has to pedal it back a little bit. But now he finds that proximity. Look how much execution there was at the beginning of outside zone two. Ryan Turk trying to grind the door, roasting him up through that final outside zone. And then I just had to get in it. There's nothing I could do at that point on that line. Just try to get your heart rate down and chill. It looks like you dropped a tire uh, outside zone two. And then your dive to three is exactly what I wanted on that last comment. All right, so you know what you need to do. You got to run that qualifying lap. Get all your marks. Sir, uh, copy that. The drivers will switch things up, and Osbo will chase down Ryan Turk. He seems to be half a second quicker. In the chase, just don't let him get away. Copy that. The lights extinguished through that starch chicane. And we got a clean start. Here we go. You can't care about the point situation or trying to help your teammate out. Osbo gets a bit lost in the smoke there, has to back off. 
Turk starts taking off. I'm a driver, and I'm out there to drive for a podium, drive for a win. I'm not there to sacrifice an entire event. We only have eight of them for my teammate to potentially go on to a podium. You know, it's just not one of those things. One can only advance. Freddie, you gotta watch his videos too. What happened is I got too close on him, and then I had to check up, and then he took off. If you didn't get too close, you could have stayed on him. That's my point. What do you mean check up? Like, how did you gotta hit him? I don't know, but when you check up like that, it runs over. Like, literally, at that point, it was the end of the run. This is a tough one for the judges here. Ryan Turk upsets second in points. And that is huge for Chelsea Denofa and Matt Field. So absolutely shocking and shaking up the point standings. There's never anything that's going to be said like I did something wrong because that's not the way it is and that's not the way Steph runs the team. There's never going to be, hey Ryan, we need you to take a dive on this one. You know what I mean? There's never going to even be any hint to any of that from and not any one person on the team. That's not how it is. That's not how it will be. And that's definitely not in anyone's DNA on the team because they wouldn't expect us to ever do that to them if we were on the other side. Just like when Freddie beats me, we're pissed. Dude, you did though. I was told, nah, I was, I was told I was it was really there. close. No, 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 no. Don't listen to videos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Unless you're in the finals and you're and you're fighting for a win, then you know second place is a good consolation. But when you're getting beaten these top 16s and top eights, it's it freaking hurts. What a day, huh? Our driver. It's like I forgot the basics of drifting. I just lack of focus and like I'm not ahead of what's going on. I'm catching up to what's going on. We're sort of in the mix, but something magical needs to happen for Brunel for me to really pull out all the stops. But I, I believe in magic. It is possible. This year has been a little bit trying for me may come as a surprise to many, but I don't always feel that confident in the, in the car. We've been doing this for a long time. We've been fighting hard. It's taken a lot out of us. We are a little tired. Some of the boys feel like I'm, I'm overthinking what's going on. And I, I absolutely agree. It's like I, I know I can do it, but I start doubting it a little bit, and then it all sort of falls apart. Do people feel like I've played out my role? Or do they see that I'm fighting to really find that last bit of competitive edge and they think that I'm done? I don't know. Here we go, our first battle of our final four. Ryan Turk versus Matt Field. And your winner, Matt Field! Coming into this round of competition, tied for third, Matt Field in the hunt for the championship. Ryan Turk, he's kind of disruptor in this scenario because say he goes past Field, goes to the finals, gets the win, that'll shake up the points. So, you know, Frederick Osbo is a fan in Ryan Turk right now. Matt has just had a, a really great year where he has had a lot of good luck and his team's been working hard and they definitely deserve to be where they're at, but we don't change the plan at all. We just go out there and do what we do and hopefully that's enough to get us a win. Here we go, baby. He got away from me on the entry, so I couldn't just like nudge up and get right on his door. And it totally screwed me because I was already entering at that point in time. Yeah, he has been throttled up right before he grabs the handbrake. He goes straight and he's gonna get me, yes, for sure. Focus on your lap right now, just keep pushing. Pretty good mimicking effect by Turk in the chase. Ryan Turk gaining some proximity. Now he's really putting the pressure on Matt Field. I end up closing the gap towards the ends and applying a, a, a decent amount of pressure, but it's just not what we wanted. Matt Field. We'd love another win under his belt. That would close the gap between him and Denofa. 
try to get your heart rate back down. Gonna drive like you belong here? Yes. You believe you can win this event? Fucking know it. Like, I was definitely feeling it. Things were good. Here we go, Ryan Turk coming out of that start chicane. And I knew he was gonna be right on my door. Sure enough. Right out of the gate, he's in the pocket, follows Turk right through that inside clip. Good aggressive transition from Ryan Turk, but Matt Field cannot be shaken. That Corvette right there in the rear view. You can see the consistency from Turk doing a very high level lead run here. Field and Turk in his last outside zone, ripping past the fans. That was a huge pressured attack from Matt Field in the beginning. Exactly what I asked him to do, you did. You I have no idea which way this is going to go because it was like two good leads and two decent chases, you know what I mean? And Matt Field gets the win. So Field advances on to the finals. It will be a Field Olsen Denofa podium as Ryan Turk. He qualified 28th compared to Olsen in second and Denofa in third. Fourth place finish it was. Again. Shaking it off, you can only do so much before it really starts getting to you. Oh. Podium eludes me once again. Us. Eludes us. You know, being uh, the bridesmaid on the on the, the podium sucks. I mean, finishing fourth place is, is uh, unsuccessful. Chelsea Denofa gets the win! At least you're sipping champagne for second and third. You have something to celebrate. <laughs> Here she is. Hi, babe. Hey. When you get towards the end of the season, you're like, well, I sure would like to drink some champagne, but I really want to just get this all over with. <laughs> She said bullshit. <laughs>